Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a haul video of just a hodgepodge of everything from books to games to movies to shirts to just a little bit of everything. A lot of it's movie related. Clothes. Clothes. A lot of it's movie related, so that's why we're showing it off. I think a couple things ain't really movie related, but we'll show it off anyways. So. Just because. We've never really done a video like this where it has a bunch of random stuff in it, so just sort of gives us something to do. Now we'll get started. This is We Love Movies Game. We found it at Big Lots for $6. It's basically a trivia game. Um, we have like two others, one that's specifically a horror, and then another one that's just completely random. So I usually beat, the, beat her in these. So. He doesn't even have to try, and he beats me like almost every game. I get so mad. Um, <laughs> Addison School had sent her a summer book package thing, and I've never heard of, I don't think of any of these, but there's I'm Enough, Wish, Me on the Map, and then she has some level one reading books, uh, Llamas Need, need National Geographic Kids. Nope, nope. I was trying for my National Geographic. wasn't working. Um, Pug. And Living in Mexico. Probably hot. She, we also, which we don't, we're not going to show those off because they're so, you say it's going to be hot. Because <laughs> um, there's so many that we found. But we found her a lot of level one and two reading books that are in her room right now. Uh, a few things that we got in through the mail, movie-wise. Uh, we picked, I picked up Two Graves in the Desert. Not really sure. Uh, never seen it, but it sounded uh, pretty good. Uh, this one's usually talked about as being really good. It's the original Straw Dogs. I was wondering, I was like, don't we have a Straw Dogs? Mm -hmm, it's the remake. Uh... Next, we have Get Rich or Die Trying. It's supposed to be based on his life, 50 Cent's life, so. Uh, I don't think this is like the original to the Will Smith one. I think it just randomly has the same title, but it's Sean Penn and Bad Boys. It's just uh, happen to be named the same. And next, or lastly, for this, for the ones that I got through the mail, uh, we got. Uh, George Siegel and Denzel Washington, and uh, I guess his first role because this is introducing Denzel Washington, mm -hmm. a car carbon copy. So, sound pretty good. Let's see. Next is from our video rental store. Sorry, Joy Marie. <laughs> <laughs> we got Higher Ground. This is supposed to be, I want to say, is it written and directed? Let's see, I can't really read it good. Oh yeah, directed by Vera Firminga. Uh, I don't know if it's written, it might have been written by her, I'm not sure. Either way, it's directed by Vera Firminga, so I wanted to check that out. Of course, it has her sister in it. Uh, Tessa? Yeah. She's not listed on the front. I wonder if she's credited. She's right there in the corner, though. Yeah, I know. I don't know. She's not credited on this at all. Uh, the next we got the Good German. Uh, she said I didn't have this one, so I grabbed it. I used I watched this years ago. Remember enjoying it? It's Mister Three Thousand. Next is Samuel Jackson and uh, Formula 51. Uh, Alex Wolf, Imogen Poots, and Nev Campbell, which I don't know how long she's actually in it. Uh, but it's Castle in the Ground. That was Nev Campbell. And then I got... Uh, Morgan Freeman and Ruby Rose in Vanquish. More of a newer title. Yeah, newer title. Uh, 
did want to pay the 15s, but for a uh, little under $10. I figured I'd grab it. I'm not expecting anything good. Just uh, maybe, hopefully, at least some decent action. I say this. I don't think the storyline's supposed to hey, be amazing. You but know, it has Morgan Freeman. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do have some more movies. We're we're not doing this in any order, so it's just sort of just grabbing. grabbing. Um, but he found me the new the new Space Jam movie. We found pajama pants to go with it. I was excited. I need a shirt to go with it when eventually they come out with one. I know they will. Yeah. Uh, at Walmart right now. I think yeah. they were just put out this week. So. Don't know how much they. How much were they? That one might have been twelve dollars. Twelve. So they're not pricey. Pricey. So. Can't remember. Next with some of our daughter's shirts. They were on sale for seven dollars. We got her SpongeBob tie dye. Can they see that? I can't see. Not so. Yeah. Okay. She likes SpongeBob, so I get her that. She won't be able to wear them right now, but she can grow into them. Well, I didn't think about it, but her wrist. This would probably stop at her wrist, so she could actually wear it this one if she wanted to. <clears throat> we got her 101 Dalmatians long sleeve. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll get to the shirts. More shirts. Later. More shirts in a minute. Uh, this isn't the one. Yeah. The new release of the day. Yeah. Is Godzilla vs. Kong in 4K. Excited to finally get this. Can't wait for Nobody and is it Wrath of Man also yeah, next hopefully week? Hopefully our Walmart will put it out. Yeah. They were good and actually had a complete separate stand for this one. So um, they had it out on time so I didn't even have to ask them for it this time. Yeah, so... Uh, we've already seen it, so yeah. we're not going to do another review on it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we're just really happy to have this one in our collection. We found this at a thrift store today for only $10, and it was one I've been wanting since he passed away, and I couldn't get my hands on it because people were buying it like crazy. But it's the People Edition tribute of remembering Michael Jackson. Don't don't judge me, but I had to get. There was a picture in here I was going to show. You wanted to show that picture? Yes, I did. Why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just thought it was cool, but it it explains like almost everything, and I've been wanting this for a while. This so. is all about how he. Did his thing? I think it talks a little bit about it, but not uh, going into full detail. Mm -hmm. Go back to our daughter's shirts. We got her Mickey. And our son will be very jealous because he is really into Mickey right now. We got her three different kinds of shirts like th of this style or this mo uh, TV series. We got mm -hmm. Friends. I have a friend shirt and I felt like she needed some. To match with me. And then I got our two short sleeves. Got that one. And then that one. I like this one. I would wear that one. If, <laughs> if they had it in my size. <laughs> so. It was only $8 or something like that for it. eight ninety eight dollars for the two pack. So that's not bad. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, got a book at Goodwill. Anatomy of a Scandal. Has to do with this secret that this husband is keeping from his wife. He ends up going on trial for something else during that time as well. So I, it didn't give like in detail description of it. So I'll have to read it. But um, I thought it'd be really, this book, wait a minute. They put this cover on this book upside down. Hmm. Found a game of Goodwill. Um, we used to have this game when I was younger. I never played it too much. Um, she thought I wasn't too smart to play it, and then I proved her wrong. Well, right. <laughs> now that you weren't smart, I'm What's just... What's she saying? Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> it's taboo. Um, it was It's factory sealed, so it's brand new. Um, and it was only $3.99, so I went ahead and grabbed it. 
Yeah. We also got another trivia game. It's called Oodles. Um, all the pieces are here, and so it says. Anyway. Um, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out, but it feels like everything's in that. Um, but I had heard of this game. Uh, never actually played it, though, so we'll have to get around to that. There you go. Is this all mine? Mm -hmm. There's another one in one of those other bags. I don't know. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, the next... Okay. So I found out my Xbox that I have, because I have the newest one. It is backwards compatible with all the Xbox games. So I had to stock up at our local video game store. But I got the Haunted Mansion. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I do want the rest of these, but I don't know how easy they're going to be to find. CSI Crime Scene Investigation. I think this is the only one they have for Xbox, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Tomb Raider Legend. Yeah, you tell me these are the only games you needed. We never had to buy no more of these. No, you tell me you I, said, I said there was some that I still needed. Mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean. I think this is the only one. I'll have to double check on that. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. Rainbow Six Vegas. I remember us playing that together. Rainbow Six Vegas? I we played that together before. Not me and you. Me and Matthew used to. We played a rainbow. We played an army game before. No, I thought it, it was wasn't Rainbow that Six one. Vegas. It was a Rainbow Six one, not that one. Oh. Prize of the Caribbean the video game. It's Lego. Um, I love my Lego stuff. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Lego Batman 2. What Lego Batman did you have for the Xbox One? Did you have one first? I think it was the first one. It was either the first or the third one. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. I normally don't like The Clone Wars, but when I saw it was Lego, I went ahead and picked it up. Lego. And Jaws Unleashed. This is the only reason we went in there to begin with, and I ended up with all that, so. Okay. Now some more DVDs. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen this movie. I've always, always heard about it, but seriously, um, don't know if I've ever actually watched it. Stop putting the tape <laughs> on me. Uh, but I wanted to give it a sh try because I like Queen Latifah for the in some stuff, and I like Jimmy Fallon. But it's Taxi. They like three different copies. The cop this copy and like two others that had a different artwork on it. But I like this artwork, and it was widescreen, and others, at least one other one was full screen, so I went with that one. Next is Richard Gere and Terrence Howard in The Hunting Party. Looked good. I've never seen it, but looked good. Next is Val Kilmer, 50 Cent, and Sharon Stone in Streets of Blood. And then I had to get this, one for John Hughes. But also because to go with the original. But it's, I, I wish I had, I'll eventually upgrade to the Blu ray, but this works for now. But it's Miracle on 34th Street, the John Hughes one. Um, I wish our Walmart would carry the that one on Blu ray, but they usually get in the original and not that one. I so, didn't know that was Mara Wilson. It looks like her out there, but I wasn't, it wasn't registering in my head. But grab that. It's in the little thin case. Whatever those are called. Yeah, next. <clears throat> next. Couple for the kids. Um, now our friend uh, got our daughter this movie. Um, but I grabbed me another copy because I wanted a yellow case to put on one of our movies. Um, and I figured our son can have our son this copy. Can have this copy. 
Um, but it's the hero color city. Which one do you want the yellow case for? I don't know, but I like the yellow case. Oh my god. I like the yellow case. I'd have bought them all if they had them all, the yellow cases. Did the one send you not have yellow case? Yeah, if I have the yellow case, I'll take that one too and switch it out and give it to S in the blue case. Oh my gosh. And then for I think our... yellows are ugly. Yellow thanks. You're beautiful. So love them. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> next, I got this for our daughter because she likes Soraya and she always talks about the dragon and stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna see if she likes this. It's uh, Jackie Chan, the Monkey King hero is back. Don't know anything it has about dragons it, but in it it's got a dragon in it. So we'll see if she likes it. Uh, next, I got this for me. Um, it was just randomly sitting there. Yeah, it's randomly sitting. I think it's in the kids section. And didn't know this was even a thing, but it's Stranger Things Zombie Boys. It's a comic book. It's a, yeah, a graphic. Graphic novel, novel, sorry. Comic book, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I had to pick, grab that. I had to pick that up. I was like, hmm, interesting. So. Our daughter can read this when she's older. But she's not going to know how to read this right now. And you dropped it. No, I didn't. Be quiet. Okay. Um, next, we have two pops. One is Claire Deering from Jurassic World. And the other one is Owen Grady. I have seen either one or the other multiple times, but I don't ever grab them because I don't see them together and I'm afraid I'll miss out on the other one not be able to get it or something. So I've been waiting until I find them together. Found them today at the bookstore. So I grabbed them. And I got two more movies here. Uh, this one looks like a, some kind of a heist comedy with Morgan Freeman and Christopher Walken and uh, William H Macy. So I was all for it. It's called the Maiden the Maiden Heist. No clue, but I'm all for a, a heist comedy with those guys. And then also grabbed uh, for under three dollars. Uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark, the new, the mini limited series thing. From Nickelodeon. From Nickelodeon. Uh, it was only two fifty for that, so grab that. It was mint, so. Oh, this is new now. Yeah. It was 2019. Wanted to check that out. I didn't even know this came out. There you go. Thank you. Got <laughs> some book type stuff here. First one is a, like a romance thing. It's my first love. Um, and other disasters. That's not me. But um, I do like my romance books, and it's hard for me to find stuff I'm actually interested in. I used to read a lot more of Roberts, but I've read so much of her stuff, I don't have anything else to read. Right one now. girl, so, two boys, and a whole lot of trouble. Oh, I'm not oh like that was going on on that one. <laughs> Then we also found at the bookstore this magazine is Life, um, Titanic, the Tragedy That Shook the World, and it has, not based off the movie, it has everything, um, I mean it has some stuff about the movie, but it mainly goes into the actual stuff and real pictures of, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, of stuff that was in real life on the ship and stuff. It's a little mixture. It's the movie yeah. remembered along with the actual, actual events and actual pictures of like the tickets and stuff like that. So is I love anything Titanic. It's worth millions. <laughs> this was brand new and this is about half price what it would be at Books a Million. Um, but it's Ted Bundy, America's most evil serial killer. Um, love true crime stuff, so I had to get this when I saw it. They also had a Charles Manson one, but I already had, like, two books on him, so I didn't get it. Next, <clears throat> for our son, we have a, we got him this Mickey Mouse book. It's, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's not, like, your average. It's like when you watercolor. Yeah, you hear, like, the scratchiness of the page. It's real bumpy and stuff. I don't know, but... Uh, we figured he'd like it. It's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Yeah. So. And we got our daughter something, so we felt bad not getting him something, too. So we sort of went mm -hmm. ahead and... You want to show that one? Yeah. Um, this, we're going to 
save as like a present for his birthday or something but um it's the peppa pig book collection and it is like cardboard so he's not gonna be able to rip it which he's been doing better with regular type books but he definitely still needs cardboard right now so um cardboard and peppa pig can't go wrong with that right now for him there you go Next, I also got Tracking a Stiller, Serial Killer. <laughs> Stiller. 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 Serial Killer. Um, it has a bunch of them in it. I, I was like looking her. through it. So, Monster. Huh? Oh. I like that movie. And so I'm excited to read this. I've seen this at Books a Million, too, and it goes for like $20, $25 when like full price. So I was happy to see this one. Next is a book we both uh, wanted. Mm -hmm. I learned um, it for Edgar Allan Poe. But it's the classic horror collection. Um, it's got terrifying tales from Joseph Sheridan Lefano, mm -hmm. H.P. Lovecraft, M.R. James, Edgar Allan Poe, William Hope Hodg Hodgkins, Hodg Hodgson. Hodgson's, and Bram Stoker. So... I wanted it for Bram Stoker and H.P. Lovecraft, and she wanted it for Edgar Allan Poe, so we just got it for that. But um, for H.P. Lovecraft, you get The Call of Cthulhu, The Color Out of Space. That's by him? What? That's what the game's based off of. Oh, The Hound, okay. The Rats in the Walls, and The Outsiders. Or Outsider, excuse me. And they have Mary then, Shelley in here, too. They have uh, a bunch of them. Yeah, they got a bunch of others. Bram Stoker, you get Dracula's Guest, The Judge's House, and Crystal Cup. What else do they have? Anybody? Um, Any Stephen King? I don't think. No, that's it. There's a bunch of others yeah. than what we listed off the front, though. Um, but those are the main big ones. Yeah. So, but, but decided to get this. I usually try to stick with Stephen King and stuff. Oh my gosh, going crazy. I usually try to stick with Stephen King, but since she wanted it for um, Edgar Allan Poe and everything, and I was interested with the H.P. Lovecraft, figured why not. This slipcover is driving me insane. Can you actually have it without the slipcover? Because I actually have the picture on the we'll take it off if you want. No, I'm keeping it on. I'm just saying you could if you wanted to. There. But yeah, so we didn't grab that. A little more than I like spending on a book, but since it was for both of us, we can like say it's half price. Yeah, and it has <laughs> multiple us, stories so. in it, so I mean, it's going to be more. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is more from our bookstore. Uh, it's okay. movies. Movies, right. yeah. First, I got the VHS of Man of the House. Um, Figured this would work until hopefully, maybe Disney Movie Club will put a Blu-ray of this out. Yeah. Um, but figured I'd grab it this way for now. You want to show that one? Yeah. This one, I was so excited when he found this, but it's Pooh's Hef Heffalump Halloween movie. I've been looking for this. They don't have it on Disney Movie Club, so I think they have it on VHS, but I don't want the VHS of it. I wanted it in DVD to Blu-ray form. Surprisingly, it was pretty mint. Yeah. So, uh, next was two newer ones I was surprised to find. Um, oh, I didn't know you found those. Yeah. First up, I wanted to check this out, but I didn't want to spend full price or yeah. that much on it. Uh, so, for under $3, I went ahead and grabbed a DVD. I didn't care. Um, but it's uh, Spell, which came out last year. Yeah. Now, if we end up liking because yeah. this is one that we were iffy with, but if we end up liking it, we'll probably end up upgrading it at some point. At some point. Um, but we were really iffy on it, because it reminded us of, what movie did it remind us of? It reminded us of another movie, and we were iffy on it yeah. because of the way that it was portraying it. But we'll have to watch it at this point. But it was like 250 so... And also for two fifty, uh, I got um, Fear of the Rain on DVD. This sounded actually better than I thought. Uh, it talks about a woman with onset schizophrenia having hallucinations and stuff. And I like movies. Man, it may sound bad, but I like watching movies that's based around mental stuff, mental illness and stuff. It just makes you think a lot more because you don't know what's in their head and what's not. And I guess apparently she starts, 
uh, I guess, from what it says, she starts believing her neighbor had kidnapped a child and has to get somebody to believe her. That guy looks familiar. Hold on. So it sounds really interesting. Um, so at two fifty, I figured I'd grab it I if don't I know, like but it. It has both Captain Heigl and Madison Eisman in it. Figured if I like it, then we'd eventually upgrade it to blue. But uh, couldn't be, couldn't pass it up at two fifty for the DVD on for basically twenty twenty titles, I guess. So, all right, let's see what else we got here. Do mine first. Mine's on the very back there. I'm gonna say which one's yours. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Is that it? Thanks. So. All right. Two more games here. We had Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. I think they have the third one on Xbox set uh, too. I just they didn't have it. Um, and then Fable: The Lost Chapters. Now we got some more movies. We got um, Armored. I don't think I own that one. Don't remember owning that one. I remember enjoying it though, but I didn't own it. Uh, Crazy Kind of Love. Uh, early Kevin Bacon movie, uh, Lemon Sky. I better hope this is mint too. I don't know if it's mint. I don't know yet. Yeah, I gotta check and see if some of these are mint. Because they're resealed, they're not really brand new, so. Yeah. Uh, Trigger Man. Uh, this one we know is mint. Uh, the badge. Uh, the Heavy. Uh, Owen Wilson and the Minus, the Minus Man. More of a drama. For I like his brother better. Owen. Uh, just picked this up from Popcorn, or well, Popcorn, our video rental store, but we hand and grabbed it. Uh, for like an upgrade from a non-rental version, but it's and so it goes. I think the cover's a little bit better on this one. It's not as faded from where it's been sitting out because they have yeah, like, they have outside yard sales and stuff. Yeah, uh, during the summer, so if they put it out, it gets real sun faded and doesn't look as bold and bright. So I think this one actually has a little bit better artwork and stuff. So I went ahead and just grabbed it. Uh, one that she was wanting to see at one time, uh, Last Vegas. I was I'm interested in it too with the cast, but I know she wanted to see it at one time, so it has Robert De Niro and Morgan Freeman in it. I like both of them. Next we have um, I know these are the Blu-rays now are like I think two dollars. So even though it says four ninety nine or two ninety nine, yeah, they're actually two dollars. Um, this one I was I've been so iffy with. I didn't pick it up at the Dollar Tree sales because I'm not what you say a huge Seth Rogen fan. But I like Michelle Williams, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And it's Take This Waltz. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> uh, next is Justin Long in, in Best Man Down. Sounded pretty... Look pretty interesting. And then we had this once before. I think it was a rental copy. It was on DVD. And um, so decided to, we got rid of it. But since I got more into the uh, it's love stories and stuff. Love stories slash something. Rom com stuff like that. I decided to go ahead and give this a second chance. Um. And it's Passengers with Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. When we first watched this movie, we just thought it was so boring. Yeah. Which we may still feel the same, but for this price, we went ahead and wanted to try it again. Yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. Go to this one. Next, I got on VHS because the Blu-ray goes for way too much. Um, it's The Man Who Knew Too Much with James Stewart. I think the rest of these might be you. Probably. For the most part. Um, I found some computer games. Um, I'm really big into computer games, especially Nancy Drew games. I found a Nancy Drew message in a haunted mansion, and it came with Samantha Swift and the Hidden Roses of Athena. 
Um, all these discs were really good, so I got well, them. Except for that one, but... Well, yeah, but it looks like it's just been resurfaced, so yeah. it should work. Should work. Um, Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Um, I have other Nancy Drew games. I just, these are the ones I still needed. I still need more of them, obviously. Um, this one is mainly a hidden mysteries one, so you're finding objects a lot of times. But you'll see why she got it. Yeah, you'll see why I got it. We have Titanic, which is one reason I got it. Civil War, Secrets of the North and South, Vampire Secrets, and then the White House, which is why I got it, also. The more obvious one would be Titanic. Yeah, the more <laughs> obvious one's Titanic. Uh, we got Dark Tales, Edgar Allan Poe's Murders in the Rue Morgue. And we have Penny Dreadful's Sweeney Todd Premium Edition. So, I had to get these because they're mysteries. Hopefully they all work. Yeah, they should all work. Their discs were pretty well took care of. Well, I mean, hope it ain't like, didn't you say like, um... Only if you need codes, they don't work. Yeah, the But like, these didn't require codes. Oh, okay. Um, next, this was a little bit more than I like spending for a VHS, but the DVD is out of print. And you're getting two VHSs in this. Yes, it's, a, it's on two VHSs, which is why it costs a little more. But... Don't do that. Huh? Don't do that. <laughs> but it's Stephen King's Rose Red on VHS. Can't um, ever find the DVD anywhere. Now that no. we got this, we'll probably find it. I think I found the DVD one time, but it was completely destroyed. So, um, I'm hoping that, uh, this will, uh, maybe I'll find the DVD now that I bought this. But, I wanted to have. And the last bag here of goodies. Goodies, 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 what's in here? Okay. Let's start with the non-movie first. I had to have me a bag for work. Just something to carry his medicine in. And my snacks. And his snacks. I like my snacks. I'm fat. <laughs> but, I don't uh, make these anymore. I found this, and it's not huge, but that's perfectly fine. I didn't need a big one. I just need something to take, put my stuff in. But it's a straw stream bag of Toy Story. It's got Buzz and the aliens on it, the little aliens on it. So, I liked it. It was 99 cents. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm a huge... I, I love Toy Story. I got two Toy Story shirts that I wear for nighttime... For night shirts. Pajama shirts. This is the um, only place... Good, we found this so. at Goodwill. And it's the only place that we've been able to spot one of these bags. Yeah, and I've been meaning to get one for weeks now. And I keep forgetting to look. And I've seen this over in the kids' toy section. And I was like, oh, I'm getting it. So, yeah. Got that. Let me put that in. And we'll go with the movies here. Yeah, that would be it. Last stack of movies. We got our son a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Road Rally DVD. Uh, surprisingly, this was in good condition. And usually when you find kids' DVDs, especially at thrift stores, they're horrible. So we picked it up. Got my, or got our, sorry, daughter. Uh... I said, I said Mike, it's like I was talking about I know. We're on our own. <laughs> I'm on my own here doing this. What am I? Uh, I'm the one that first her. I was talking as if it was just me doing this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I got our daughter, the Care Bears movie. She's been getting into Care Bears, especially the newer Care Bears. Um, she talks about their toys at Walmart. There's one that's like a tie-dye color that she loves, so I'm going to have to try to find it. There was two different versions. There was like, look, I'm assuming it was probably an older version. Yeah. And then, but the disc was missing from it. I Somebody it either stole the disc oh, or, no, this or something. And then they had this version, um, which looked newer, but uh, and it did have the disc and it was uh, pretty mint. So yeah. I went ahead and grabbed that one. So thankfully they had two different copies. Okay, next we have, um, and I know Mill Creek put out the Blu-ray of this. This is actually their DVD version of this, but I'm not sure about this movie. Um, so I decided for $2, I'd rather see it this way than possibly 
spend ten dollars and not like it. Um, but it's Songwriter with Chris Christopherson and Willie Nelson. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, then we got A River Runs Through It with Brad Pitt and Robert Redford. Never seen it. Don't know. Uh, picked up this big pack here of different movies for $2. Uh, I got it mainly for School of Life with Ryan Reynolds, but... Um, these other movies, there's some that actually have, um, decent actors, actresses in it. So, I'll probably definitely give a, some of these others a try. The only drawback is they're on flippers and they have them in sleeves packaging. So, let's see. <laughs> like that. And they're flippers. That. So, that was my only drawback, but I thought... Two dollars. They looked okay. They didn't look. They weren't mint, but they didn't look like hockey pucks. So they were pretty close to mint. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead. How many times am I gonna pull those movies in and out of those things? It's not gonna be like Roseanne, where somebody wants to watch it every other month and they get pulled in and out like crazy. I watch Roseanne. <laughs> <a lot. laughs> uh, next we have. I don't know what this. What I want to end on. Let's go this one first. <laughs> Next, we have The Hustle. Um, this probably won't stay in the collection. I just wanted to give it a watch. Probably I watched it on Hulu um, a while back, and I didn't care for it, but... I'm probably glutton for punishment, but... Chances are, if I didn't like this movie, he's not going to like it either. There is strong possibility, so... Um, but I figured I'd, I just wanted to say I saw it, so... $2 rental, basically, I guess. Um, and then next, or lastly, uh, don't really know much about this, but it has a really great cast. Kate Blanchett, Katie Holmes, Keanu Reeves, Greg Kinnear, Hilary Swank, Giovanni Ribisi, um, and it's The Gift. Um, don't know much about it, never seen it. I guess apparently she can, like, see the future or something, and it ends up getting her somehow in trouble. Uh, and caught up in a some kind of a issue, so um, definitely wanted to give that a watch, especially with that cast because that's a really great cast. So, but that is everything. Went a little crazy. Somebody did. I'm buying stuff, <laughs> but we're gonna let it slide hey, this time. I never <laughs> have to look, like finding stuff like I did today, so we were just going with it. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, probably won't be any more huge, huge hauls like this, at least for a while. No, not huge hauls. Um, this is our biggest haul I think we've had this year, since last tax time, I think. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is just a little bit of everything, though. Um, we, I know we usually don't show off stuff besides movies. But, but hey, I, change it up a little bit. Yeah, we're changing up just a little bit. Um, so, but that is everything for this video. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for all our videos. And we will see you all in the next one.